All right, so here we go with the watch list video for the last day of August, uh, Tuesday, August 31st. SPY pushing up to all time highs again. Uh, you'll notice the volume is extremely dead. August has it's been that way, but there's still some good trades popping up here and there. Um, I'll give you one highlight from today. RNXT, you can see it's only been trading for three days, right? Let's see, yeah, one, two, three. Um, sometime mid morning, I called this and said uh, I liked it any time today back over 1050, right? Um, and boom, there it was, and it broke 1050 and went all the way to 1674 and I think over 18 and after hours, you'd see that a lot. Um, so that was my best call of the day. I had a couple others, uh, the small little winners, but um, overall I didn't try, I bet I took four trades today maybe. Um, all right, so back to the SPY, sitting at all time highs and I put together a list of things I'm gonna watch tomorrow. Just remember, don't overtrade and don't oversize in August trading. It's pretty dead out there. Um, ATER is a weird chart because you had the, the big rip on Friday and then the gap up. I talked about that in the video um, this weekend, that when you have stocks that look good for a follow through day, but then you see them running in after hours, so then you're faced with a gap up the next morning, a lot of times you get this. So now it basically closed pretty close to where it closed on Friday's big rally. So who's winning? Right? Bulls winning, bears winning, really nobody. It's kind of in the middle. So as a day trader, I'm going to watch it. But, uh, you know, you got a lot of longs underwater, um, but you got some shorts. If this thing turns back up, it has some shorts in trouble. Anyway, I am not in love with this chart, but I think as a day trader, I've got it. Uh, you know, I got to watch it. And the same exact thing goes for BBIG. You know, crazy move, then the stupid gap up, and then the sell off. Um, and it's kind of in no man's land, but I'm going to watch it. WKEY, sadly, I had this on watch today. You saw the video. I liked it over 750. Well, today I put in an early high of 740. So you got to love the break of 740, knowing that a break of 750 just a dime above is the catalyst. And there's the break of 740, right? There's the early high. And um, I don't know if I was out of the office, just didn't see it, but it ran without me. I never got a piece of that. Um, but I am going to watch it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to watch it because it had a nice little mini breakout, pretty good volume for that stock. Um, and it's an NFT play. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. And that whole space, that whole space has been pretty strong. LEDS, this doesn't look like much, um, but it's kind of curling up. And if you go to intraday, you can see it had pretty nice volume here near the end of the day. Uh, I don't love it, right? Uh, it had actually stronger volume on the way back down and the chart isn't that pretty. You could maybe argue over 10, you got an inverse head and shoulders trigger-ish, right? Um, but not in love with that one at all. KPLT um, had a big rip today and uh, really, really massive volume. Closing well off its highs, but I'm gonna keep my eyes on that one. BGFV, I didn't type that right. BGFV, there it is. Um, little mini breakout today, good volume for the stock. And I saw someone somewhere on Twitter posted a big short interest in this. I didn't double check that, but if it's got a big short interest, you could have a nice follow through day tomorrow. APOP, little mini breakout today and a strong close, closing all the way pretty much at the highs of the day. <clears throat> NURO had the rip on Friday and then today gave back a lot of that on much lower volume. So I'm just looking for a third day play. We'll see if we get a setup. MRIN, same thing. You had the pop on Friday, kind of more of a quiet inside day looking for a third day play. PXLW, this one I'm putting on bounce watch because it's so strong, right? It ran from like three something to 750. Um, but I would like to see another red day. You had the one day pullback so far. I'd like to see it, you know, get down to the eight or maybe even below the eight. Um, and then I'd like it more. So probably another red day in store, but it's so strong that I am going to watch it. Sometimes you get one red day and then the thing, you know, a strong stock can turn and rip again, uh, burning all the shorts from that red day. So we'll see. I'm going to keep it on watch more interested in it after another red day. Um, B Y S I very, very strong stock. And now you've got a couple days lower on very little volume. So looking for a turn back up tomorrow. And then lastly, I'm putting RGC on watch, which had this crazy move. And now you've got one, two, three red days in a row, declining volume, fairly narrow day on, um, on Friday compared to, the, you know, I'm sorry, on today compared to the last few days. Um, so I'm gonna look for one of our classic bounce play setups in this. If we get it, if we don't, I won't be trading it. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that and we'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning.